The spices remind me of my mum. That's where it takes me back. I was about seven years old when I made these with my mum. Hi, I'm Anna, I'm from Frankston, and today I'm going to be making melo macarna. They are a honey spice biscuit with walnuts on top, a very traditional biscuit that's made every Christmas and Easter. The recipe is my mother's recipe that came from her mother, who used to have her own beehives and she'd gather the honey. And just knowing that um, the recipe came from my grandmother makes it even more special. So we're going to make the syrup now. You can see we've got some beautiful fresh ingredients here. We've got fresh orange juice, water, cloves and cinnamon, and the sugar. And we're also going to add a couple of slices of fresh orange. Pop that in, and now we're going to heat it up. Continue to stir this for a couple of minutes just to dissolve the sugar, and leave it to boil for a further five minutes until it thickens slightly. Talk to me about your grandmother, your sheep. I didn't know her that well. Uh, we went in uh, back in 1979, and I, that was the first time that I had met her. And um, I just remember her being a very stoic kind of a woman and very confident. And there was just something about her that I really loved. So I've let it cool for about a good 10 minutes, and now I'm going to add the honey. We're looking for the syrup to thicken so that it adheres to the biscuit better. I'm just gonna leave that here now, the syrup, until we need it next. Now we're gonna make the topping for the biscuits. We've got walnuts, we've got some clove, some cinnamon, and some caster sugar. So once all the ingredients have been added, quickly blitz it until it resembles fine breadcrumbs. I'm just gonna pop this to the side, and now we're gonna get on to making the biscuits. We're gonna add all the dry ingredients, the flour, the semolina, the sugar, the spices, we've got clove, cinnamon, baking powder and baking soda. Combine all the ingredients. Then we're gonna zest the orange because that's where all the essential oils are. Mix it through again. I'm gonna make a well and now I'm gonna add the oil and we're gonna add the fresh orange juice. And now we're gonna mix all the ingredients together and I'm gonna get my hands into this now because by feel, I can tell when it's all combined really nicely. And then you start rolling and shaping. So what we're looking for is two tablespoons of mixture. I've got some baking trays with some baking paper. And while I do that, I'm just gonna turn the oven on to 180. And then I'm gonna continue making these biscuits, roll them up, make a log, and then flatten them out. Another thing that I do, I rough them up a little bit using a fork so that the mixture will sit on top. As my mum has aged, she used to make a lot. She used to be the, the biscuit maker, but you know, as she's aged, it's harder for her. So I make them for the family. I make them for my mother-in-law, I make them for my auntie, I make them for my sister. I make them for the family so that they don't have time, but I still try and continue the tradition. Heritage, culture, all of those things are very important. I try and retain those um, memories through my recipes and try and show the story through the recipes that I make. Then we're going to pop them into the oven. We're just looking for them to be a golden brown colour. They're looking done to me, so I'm going to take them out now and um, I'm going to get ready for the next step. This is the syrup from earlier. It's cooled down a little bit. What I do is I actually just fill the pot. When I'm dunking them, I usually put as many as I can in here and let them sit in here for 30, 40 seconds. Even though I'm letting them soak, they won't go soggy. They will soften nicely though. And then I just pop them on the rack to dry off a little bit. I'm gonna leave these now just to drain off. So did your mum pass this recipe on to you? Yes, she did. And when they pass a recipe on, nothing's written down. She would basically just say, now get a pen and paper and start writing. And because she had it memorised in her mind. And measurements were very different. They used teacups to measure everything. That's known as one cup to them. Over the years for me, it's evolved. And yeah, I've tweaked it a little bit here and there because that's what I do naturally. I add a lot more spice. <laughs> I love cinnamon, I love nutmeg. I'm drawn naturally to warm spices and um, I always tend to add a little bit more because I want to make sure that you can, you can taste it when you're eating the food. So what we're going to do now, they've been sitting for a little while, carefully I just place the topping on. So I have a, an older daughter and she's very involved when I cook. She actually comes and documents my recipes and writes them down, even though I have them written down. She just loves to write them 
in her own little special recipe book that she has. I think it's important, you know, that the tradition is carried on. She's very willing to do that, which is lovely. Here they are, my beautiful melamocarna, full of honey, spices, warm spices. I hope you make them for your family on Christmas Day the way we do and share them on the day. Merry Christmas, Kala Christuyena. Time to eat one, because they're bloody delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Ha, 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 ha.